Have you ever had a screen recording and a webcam that you wanted to source together and put on your video at the same time? Let me show you how in Camtasia. So we're going to be using three pieces of media for today's recording. We're going to use a dynamic background. This one happens to be some stars that are dynamically changing. We're going to have a stock photo video of a gentleman speaking into a microphone. And we're going to be using just a standard screen recording that's showing a process that we want to cover. First things first, I want to add this dynamic background to my project. So I'm going to drag it down here onto the timeline. And when I play this back, you'll see that it's kind of a starry background. It's playing uh, like an ethereal look. All of our dynamic backgrounds that we have are customizable. And as long as you have that selected on your timeline, you can come over to the properties panel and make subtle changes. For example, if I wanted to change the background color from this white to this teal color, you can see instantly that change has been reflected here inside of the dynamic background. And that might be the only change I want to make. It kind of makes just enough of a change where you can really make out those stars. So we're going to go with that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the stock video of the gentleman speaking in front of the microphone. When I bring this in, you'll notice that it is a full screen. This is a 16 by nine piece of media, and it's actually taking up a little bit more of the screen than I want. My intention with this video is to have the speaking person on the right hand side of the media. So when the video plays, he's on the right and my shared screen recording on the left. So rather than change the size, which would be done by dragging and moving him around like this, we're gonna lean into Camtasia's crop tool, which is found at the top of the editor right here. And that allows us to make some changes to the video without adjusting its size or its resolution. So once we change the, the uh, cropping of this particular video, I'm going to go back to the selection tool and we're going to just slide him over to the right. And now we see that he is occupying the right hand side of the screen. And we'll double check down here on our timeline that he in fact occupies the space that we want which is this portion of the video. Looks good so far. Next, we want to bring in our screen recording. The screen recording is in my media bin and it is also a 16 by nine shape. So how are we going to work with this? Well, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use that crop tool and we're only going to focus our attention on the parts of the video that we want to draw attention to, which happens to be these three columns here, this uh, backlog on deck, and doing. Once I've made those cropping changes, I'm going to use the selection tool so that I can move it around just a little bit. And I want to show off that dynamic background a little bit more. So I am going to resize this just a little bit to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits on my screen. And then I'm going to add a visual effect of corner rounding to that screen recording that I can also adjust here in the properties panel. So we'll slide that over, just give it just a little bit of a softness. So now that I have those included, my video now has those three moving components. The screen recording on the left, the dynamic background in the background, and the gentleman speaking on the right hand side. It's a much more engaging video and it shows all the pieces that I wanted in my video. If you want to learn more about how to use Camtasia, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for more Camtasia tips.